Hi Cubis, here's your Alexandra and welcome to an another Review It video and this time we have a look at new items from Bandwa War Games. So uh, let's dive right into it. The first is a, a tiny little uh, uh, thing that is really neat. This is the anti-tank traps from Bandwa War Games. So let's quickly have a look what this is all about. <laughs> Open. <coughs> okay, you got uh, one panel, and like usual, it is uh, really easy to uh, clip out. <coughs> and then you have here the second part. And so let's see how to assemble them. It should be rather easy. Ta da! And there you have your anti-tank trap. I think uh, this is a really, really neat little uh, item that you can uh, place on your boards. Uh, they are probably really easy to paint. Just paint them silver, add a little bit uh, of rust uh, pigments to them and they are done. So uh, they are rather cheap and uh, a nice addition to every gaming board. So, let's get them out of the way here and have a look at the next item on the list. Next, uh, we have the ASU, <coughs> uh, ASU 40K template. This is uh, a measuring uh, template, like from uh, several different uh, companies produced. But now uh, we have them also from Bandai War Games. Really nice. Let's get one out. There. As you can see a nice acrylic template. I'll move this acrylic sheet. Zip. <coughs> Actually, if you leave the white in the numbers, that is also really cool. And like with all the templates, they are really easy to handle. So you have here uh, the 6 inch uh, measurement for your uh, standard movement in uh, Warmer 40k. Then uh, here you have a 3 inch uh, movement template. And uh, here you have a 2 inch full co coherency uh, measurement on uh, your troops. So uh, this is a, a really nice handy little tool. Uh, it's uh, quite affordable <coughs> and uh, the best part, this is uh, the orange one, uh, we have that in four different colors. We have that in uh, green, in blue, in yellow and uh, in orange. So uh, I won't uh, depack them but uh, you can see here the colors. Here the blue one <coughs> and here obviously the yellow one. Really neat little uh, stuff. You should definitely check that out on their website. So uh, next on the list, Bandai War Games has uh, also several uh, um, MDF terrain, and uh, the new ones on the list is here this modular ruins set. This is a, a very nice little uh, set. Here you have set number one. Then we have set number two. And also you can get them in a bundle as Modular Ruins Pack 1. There are, uh, as you can see on the picture, both versions on there. So let's uh, crack open one of the packs and see what we have in there. Zip. Uh, Ta-da. Uh, let's get that out of the way. So uh, here you have the instruction manual, how to build this thing, and uh, as you can see that's rather easy to uh, clip together. And yeah, so let's have a look at the parts we have here, uh, the ruins itself, really nice also uh, cracks out like this. <coughs> then we have 
here, second part, second panel. Another one, a few parts have gone out, like bricks and connectors here. Uh. Yeah, nice stuff. Uh. Like usual, this is a rather a thick uh, MDF board, really sturdy and uh, easy to handle, as you can see. Flip that out really easy. Ta da! So, and the parts look really nice. You have here uh, pre cut uh, cracks in there that you can also uh, paint up. You have a kind of a window frame, here are connector pieces for the side stuff. I would have to look into the construction manual now uh, to build this, but uh, on the first glimpse this looks really really cool and <coughs> I think you can probably play around with it uh, quite intensely and make some interesting things with it. So. Here, for example, that should fit. Mm. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. <coughs> See, and I will have already a ruin. <laughs> really nice stuff. Uh, I can definitely give uh, that a thumb up. Uh, on some point, uh, I will show you all the uh, build up uh, MDF board from Bundle War War Games that I have uh, laying around. If you haven't uh, checked their website out, uh, link is uh, down there in the video description. Also, uh, Bandora War Games, uh, <coughs> of course, uh, provides uh, their stuff to uh, independent retailers. And uh, if you have not a retailer in your area uh, that uh, is working with Bandora War Games, then uh, why don't you ask them, hey, could you order some of that stuff? I guess uh, they would be happy to uh, place products that nice in their range. So, uh, I hope you like this and we we'll see us in the next video. Your Alexandra.